Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about Wells Fargo Bank and more specifically, we're going to talk about how to set up your Wells Fargo Bank debit card into Apple Pay. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, if you're not familiar with Apple Pay, it is a really convenient service that you can set up with your cell phone service. And basically what you can do is instead of using a debit card, like what this is right here, you can just register your debit card in your phone. And that way, when you shop at many retailers or gas stations, you can easily just grab your phone, tap it on the register and pay for your items and you don't even have to swipe your debit card or insert the chip or put your debit card pin number in or anything like that. So how do you set that up? Well, it's pretty easy. First off, what you want to do is go to your Apple Pay wallet. Let me switch over to that now. All right, so here's the icon for your Apple Pay wallet. It's this little one right here. It's already pre-installed on your iPhone. It's not anything that you actually need to download. So let me go ahead and open up my Apple Pay wallet now. All right, so I went ahead and opened up my Apple Pay wallet, as you can see here. Now, this is assuming that you've already set up your Apple wallet. If you haven't set that up yet, be sure to go back and watch my other video that walks you through step-by-step -step on how to set up your Apple Pay wallet. All we're talking about today is how to add your Wells Fargo debit card into your wallet. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click right here, this little plus button on the top right, and that's going to allow you to add in another debit card, including your Wells Fargo. So let me go ahead and click on that now. All right, so then this pop-up shows up and it's just letting you know that you can add cards to Apple Pay and use that to send money to friends, make purchases in stores, and it is also letting you know that a lot of information is sent with the transaction. And that's obvious since it is a secure and private way to send payments through the Apple Pay. So go ahead and click continue after that. All right, next you wanna go ahead and choose what type of card you're gonna pay with. So today we're adding our Wells Fargo debit card. This is my debit card right here. It's a new account that I just got. So what you wanna do is go ahead and click right here, credit or debit card. Apple Card, I'm not sure exactly what that is. If you happen to know, be sure to leave a comment below, but I'm just adding a typical Wells Fargo debit card. So clicking there now. All right, so then this screen pops up and then it is asking me to scan the card. As you can see right here, it has access to the camera, or you can easily click right here on the bottom blue line that says enter card details manually. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. If you're gonna be scanning the credit card, what you wanna do is go like this, put the card down here, and let it scan the numbers. The interesting thing about Wells Fargo is they don't put the numbers in the front. You would have to flip it over and let it scan the back portion of the debit card, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and enter them in manually. So let me go ahead and click on that blue button now. All right, so here is the screen that you need to fill in the blanks. So Apple already has my name, so it's entered it right there on the first line. Next, I'm gonna enter in the card number. So you wanna be sure to enter the full debit card number I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, I went ahead and entered in the debit card number. Now I'm gonna click this blue button on the top right, next. All right, next it's asking for the expiration date and security code for my Wells Fargo debit card. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in off screen now. All right, so I went ahead and entered in the expiration date and security code for the Wells Fargo debit card, and I'm gonna click this blue button on the top right next now. All right, so now it says it's talking to the card issuer, so I'm still waiting. All right, now it says setting up card for Apple Pay. All right, and after about 15 seconds, the terms and conditions populated, as you can see right here. It's a lot to read through. Feel free to read through that before you accept. If you agree to everything, go ahead and click this bottom blue button right here, clicking agree. All right, now it says setting up card for Apple Pay. Now it says is adding to wallet. All right, now you can see that this automatically popped up and it says that Wells Fargo Bank, the debit card that I have right here, has been added to my Apple Pay. So as you can see right there at the bottom, it says is Wells Fargo Bank debit card is ready for Apple Pay. So what you wanna do is go ahead and click that top left corner right there and click done. All right, so now you can see the Platinum debit card that I have with Wells Fargo is added right there on the top. And now it's ready to be used with my Apple Pay wallet. Now, if you're gonna be using your Wells Fargo debit card to pay for anything with your Apple Pay, just make sure that you switch to that card as your primary card before you make a transaction. As you can see, I have a few different cards associated with my Apple Pay wallet. So again, make sure that you switch between the cards when you are making a payment. And that's how you add your Wells Fargo debit card to your Apple Pay wallet. If you know an easier way to do this, be sure to let us know in the comments below. But I hope that you found this video useful. If so, click thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one.